He states he wants to protect workers injured on the job. So why is he backing a bill that might make them wait for benefits? Making sure people who are hurt on the job get the help they need, it sounds good. But a bill backed by a local politician might actually harm injured workers more than it helps. Eight on your side, senior investigative reporter Steve Andrews found that one of its backers is actually the head honcho of the state Republican Party. Yeah, I am told that this legislation is backed by big business and Republican leadership in the Senate has pushed this really hard. State Senator Joe Gruders of Sarasota, chairman of Florida Republican Party is all in on this one. In Florida, workers' compensation insurance companies decide where, when, and who will treat injured workers like Neil Eckelberger. Neil suffered injuries in this explosion at work. His employer's workers' comp carrier, Travelers, decides on treatment. Every time he goes to these Travelers' doctors, there's nothing wrong with him, magically. <laughs> Disagreements about care forced the Eckelbergers to hire an attorney to file petitions for benefits. Senator Keith Perry's bill gives insurance companies 45 working days to decide whether to grant benefits. A vote on his bill was postponed twice due to a lack of support. But Sarasota Senator Joe Gruders is all in. I would have voted in favor of the Keith Perry's bill. I thought it made, makes a lot of sense. Makes sense for Perry and his roofing company. Workers' comp rates for roofers are among the highest in the state. If his bill passes, Perry's insurance premiums will likely drop. We should try to do everything we can to, to help out the, uh, the businesses out there, uh, but at the same time, make sure the workers are protected. This bill does nothing to return benefits to workers. It does nothing to simplify the process. What it does do is limit what insurance carriers pay attorneys of injured workers. Gruders is all in favor of that, too. And you want to eliminate or cut down on frivolous lawsuits. Neil's attorney, Michael Weiner, points out litigation occurs when injured workers disagree with insurance companies about care. Insurance carriers only owe attorney's fees when they wrongfully deny benefit. Critics contend this bill puts injured workers at a distinct disadvantage to insurance industry giants. And you heard it straight from Senator Gruder's mouth. I would have voted in favor of the Keith Perry's bill. I thought it made, makes a lot of sense. Senator Gruder's, you claim you're not in favor of extending the wait period for employees' benefits, but you support a bill that does just that. And when asked, you say you support allowing injured workers to choose their own doctors. This bill includes nothing of that nature. So tell me, Senator Gruder's, how does this make sense? You know, as Will Rogers once said, if you inject the truth into politics, you have no politics. So where does the bill stand now? Well, Gruders claims that it's dead, but there was no vote on this bill earlier this week. It was temporarily postponed. But you know as well as I do that things have a way of kind of resurfacing mm -hmm. in the waning moments of the legislature. So we'll keep an eye on this one. Absolutely. Oh, thank you, Steve. If you have a problem you want Steve to investigate, give him a call. The 8 on your side. Helpline number is on your screen, 1-800-338-0808.